Wednesday, July 24. Lamp and Measuring Basket. Read Mark chapter 4, verses 21 to 23. What is Jesus' special emphasis in the parable of the lamp? Mark 4, beginning at verse 21. He said to them, Do you bring in a lamp to put it under a bowl or a bed? Instead, don't you put it on its stand? For whatever is hidden is meant to be disclosed, and whatever is concealed is meant to be brought out into the open. If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear. Houses in that part of the world in Jesus' day varied in size and construction, all depending on location and wealth. The houses came to follow a Greek pattern of being built around a courtyard, but with varying levels of sophistication. Or Jesus may be talking about smaller houses of peasants. Big house or small house, the issue is this principle. One day, the truth about Jesus will be revealed. Jesus asked two questions in Mark 4.21. The first one expects a negative answer. The lamp is not brought to be placed under the basket or under the bed, is it? The second question expects a positive answer. It is brought to be placed on the lampstand, isn't it? Jesus presents an absurd, almost humorous scenario to make his point. Lamps are for giving light, or they lose their purpose. Mark 4.22 explains the parable by referencing the idea of secrets being made public. Anyone whose email or computer has been hacked understands the possibility of secrets being made public. But what Jesus is talking about is the gospel. Read Mark 4, 24 and 25. What lesson is Jesus conveying with the parable of the measuring basket? Mark 4, beginning at verse 24. Consider carefully what you hear, he continued. With the measure you use, it will be measured to you, and even more. Whoever has will be given more. Whoever does not have, even what they have, will be taken from them. In most locations in the world, fresh produce is sold in open markets. Sellers typically have a device for measuring the product they are selling. It is a common practice of such sellers to add just a little bit more to a scale to help the buyer feel he or she is being treated fairly. Jesus picks up on how good sellers treat buyers to make a point about openness to the truth. If one is open and follows the light, he or she will get even more. But if he or she rejects the light, even what they had before will be taken away. And so to finish today, how can we better understand the principle that with what measure you use, it will be measured to you? Think about it in all your dealings with others. This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. Sponsored by the Sabbath School Department and distributed through Hope Channel Australia, this podcast is also redistributed by Hope Channel Germany, Christian Record Services for the Blind. It is also available on SoundCloud and through multiple podcast distributors, including Apple iTunes. And you can listen and watch at the same time on YouTube. Remember, God is always faithful.